Kelly Tucker reporting for the News Record. We're here with Wade Johnston, musical extraordinaire. He's here with his ukulele, and we're going to ask him some questions. Um, what's the hardest thing about playing the ukulele? Um, I think playing the ukulele is actually pretty easy. Uh, if you play the guitar, it's, it's not a very hard transition at all. Um, it's four strings, which is a lot easier than six, and it's nylon instead of uh, steel, so it's a lot easier on your fingers. To be honest, I think the ukulele is a pretty easily pretty easy instrument to play and anybody can play it. So you're in a band, um, what do you play in your band? Uh, in the band I'm the lead singer and I play ukulele and guitar primarily. And what's your band called? Wade Johnson and the Navigators. <laughs> Definitely look that up on MySpace. What made you decide to post your videos on YouTube? Um, well, I, after I got my ukulele, my dad ended up looking, just like googling ukulele on the internet. And uh, Julia Nunes came up, who plays the ukulele on YouTube. And I saw what she was doing, and I was like, hey, I can do that. And uh, I ended up getting a Mac for school um, in, I think, July of last year. And I started just working at iMovie and GarageBand and mixing my own uh, videos. And I put them up, and then I got a response from them. And, then Julia saw one and I ended up going out to San Francisco to YouTube Live last year, the first ever, which was pretty awesome, um, just because I played the ukulele on the internet. <laughs> How soon did your YouTube videos become popular after posting them? Um, it, it was actually pretty slow. Uh, I mean, I ended up getting up in like the hundreds of subscribers within a few months, but then it wasn't until after YouTube Live that I like crossed the thousand mark. And um, then I did a YouTube uh, Christmas extravaganza, is what I called it last year, um, where I collaborated with nine different YouTube artists, and um, that helped with the publicity a lot, and just networking with other artists. Um, and right now I'm up to 13,000-ish, so it, it's been a slow uh, build up, but I think one of the big things that got me a lot of subscribers is I did a cover of I'm Yours by Jason Mraz and that's had over um, 300,000 views and I think a lot when you when you like look up I'm Yours sometimes it, it, it'll, uh, it'll come up on the um, the front page of it uh, just because the algorithms happen sometimes and uh, that gets me a lot of views because I'm Yours is a pretty demanded song on YouTube. Makes sense. Um, who are your biggest musical influences? Um, I think Guster, uh, they're a band, they're probably my favorite band, uh, I, I really like what they do and just the causes they stand for. Um, I'm also a huge fan of Sufjan Stevens, he is an awesome musician and just amazing composer. Um, and then uh, there's some bands on YouTube that, I, I, that inspire me to keep doing what I do, um, like Pomplamus, um, they're one of my favorite bands on there. And, they're, they're constantly breaking barriers on YouTube, and it's something that I would like to follow in their footsteps and kind of. Um, tell us about the online store that you have with your dad. Oh, okay. Well, um, this ukulele right here is a Uluru ukulele, and it is sold through Flea Circus Music in the U.S. only. We are the only distributors in the U.S. But uh, basically, um, there was this guy who I was... Uh, I submitted a video for a video contest for um, called Bushman Music, um, and they have ukuleles. And after uh, just seeing what he did with his company, me and my dad just kind of thought to ourselves, we could do that. We we might be able to do it better. So um, we uh, just kind of went for it. Um, we these ukuleles are all handmade out of Vietnam. Um, which is awesome because a lot of instruments that are on the market today aren't handmade um, and they're all solid woods So these are really like awesome instruments. I mean they, they may fool you because they're a ukulele, but they're really awesome instruments um, and After we put it we just got together and put up a website um, Just took a little while to build all that up, but I've directed some publicity through it uh, through my YouTube channel um, and that's helping us get off the ground a little but Still going slow, trying to get a name for ourselves. Um, just to clarify, the CD coming out is from your band, right? Yeah, yeah. I had a um, solo project CD that I released last um, November, actually, with the whole YouTube Live thing. I wanted to get it out before then. Um, but for the past two months, my band and I have been working on putting together a CD. 
um, with six songs. It's an EP. We're going to sell it for five bucks. And um, with the CD, we're also going to be releasing a, um, uh, a website. We're going to be launching a website. And we're going to try and get some t-shirts and some other um, merchandise out there. Kind of get everything out there at once. The website, CD, merchandise. And then uh, I'm looking actually to uh, invest in a home studio so I can start making more professional sounding uh, YouTube videos. So where will these CDs be available? Well, um, after wadejohnston.com is launched, they will be available on there. And after um, we get the CD going um, and printed, then I'll be able to submit it to iTunes and it'll be on iTunes within the following months. Um, and I'll probably put it on cdbaby.com too. Um, pretty much anywhere you can get music, hopefully, except for stores, obviously. <laughs> Well, you heard it, everybody. Check up on YouTube to see Wade Johnston and check to see wadejohnston.com when his website comes up. And would you like to play us something? Sure. All right. Be sure to keep checking newsrecord.org for more videos and news stories, and stop by our YouTube channel to see Wade's performance in its entirety. Thanks everyone for tuning in to the News Record's first feature artist of the week. You can catch Wade Johnston at the Cat Skeller on November 19th, and continue to check his YouTube for more updates. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm Kelly Tucker with the News Record. <laughs>